hello everyone i am omar and in this video we will discuss about common ion effect as well as its industrial applications so first of all we know that the dissociation of an acid or base is much affected if one of the dissociated ions are added from an external source for example in the example you are watching that there is a dissociation of a weak acid acetic acid such as ch3coh and this acid when uh, it get dissociated we get ch3coh negative and h3o positive and the dissociation constant ka for this reaction is here so it uh, dissociation constant has constant value at any given temperature so uh, if we add acl to this acetic acid the concentration of h3o positive will increase so to maintain the ka constant the concentration of acetate and will lower down will get fall so in other word to the equilibrium will shift to our left hand side because of the excess amount of production of H3O positive ions which was actually furnished by the dissociation of HCl according to Lee Chatelier principle. So the dissociation of CH3COH or acetic acid will be suppressed in a similar manner if we have an excess amount of CH3COO negative ions and we will get that CH3COO negative ions by adding strong electrons to light like ch 3 c double o n a so if we have ch 3 c double o n a so as a result which will be dissociated as ch 3 c double o negative a plus n a positive so in this way the uh, because of uh, having common ion ch 3 c double o negative the sup the dissociation of acetic acid will get suppressed likewise we take an other example uh, like if we have uh, we add nh4 cl na or naoh in nh4 oh so both uh, the suppression there will be the suppression of nh4 oh because of the because all the above species have let's say if we add nh4 cl so we will have common ion nh4 positive or otherwise if we add NaOH we will surely have a common ion NOH negative so in this way the uh, dissociation of NH4OH will get suppressed by adding something externally into the solution into the mixture so in a nutshell we can say that the suppression of dissociation of a weak acid or a weak base by adding a solution of a strong electrolyte having a common ion with a weak acid or weak base is called common ion effect like in the above examples we have watched various common ions like OH negative ch 3 c double O negative uh, and NH4 positive and we will discuss all of them further in the applications of common ion effect industrially so first is the purification of common salt second is the use of HCl in group 2 of salt analysis third is the use of NH4Cl in group 3 of salt analysis Fourth is the use of NH4Cl in group 4 of salt analysis. Fifth is the use of NH4Cl in group 5 of salt analysis. Sixth is the uh, use of NH4OH in group 4, 4 of salt analysis. So we will discuss each of the applications one by one. And first is the purification of common salt. So first thing we know that the common salt NaCl is usually get purified by passing dry ACL gas through its saturated solution. So what will happen? Sodium chloride, first of all, uh, sodium chloride in its saturated solution get ionized as Na positive and Cl negative. And the equilibrium constant here we have. And further, when the dry gas like ACL is passed through the saturated solution, the ACL will ionized as H positive and Cl negative. So from the above expression we can come to know that Cl negative ion is a common ion in both the processes in the dissociation of NaCl as well as in the dissociation of ACl so after the dissociation of ACL after, disso after the dissociation of ACL the concentration of Cl negative ion increases which actually alter the value of Kc so to keep the value of K constant the equilibrium will be shifted to the left hand side of the equation in other words we can say that 
by the increase in the concentration of chlorine and the amount of NaCl is also increased because it will suppress the dissociation of NaCl. So the more or and more NaCl molecules will be formed and get precipitated and this precipitation will result in the purification of common salt. Second application is the use of ACL in group 2 of salt analysis. We know that group 2 has cations like mercury plus 2, lead plus 2 and so on, copper plus 2, cadmium plus 2 etc. So they are analyzed. Uh, the salt analysis is actually the precipitation of H2S gas in the presence of ACL. Like uh, the function of ACL, what is the function of ACL? It is to suppress the ionization of H2S because H2S when get dissociated we get H positive and plus S2 negative and the, on the dissociation of ACL we get H positive plus Cl negative so both have a common ion H positive so in this way uh, because of having common ion and here is the Kc value of H2S so because of having common ion the large amount of production of H positive the value of Kc will change which will result in the shifting of equilibrium towards left side and uh, it results in the undissociation of H2S or it will suppress the dissociation of H2S. So whatever the sulfide ions left ionized they will surely form sulfides with the cations of H of group 2. So the cation of both second and fourth group they are actually capable of forming sulfides and the sulfide of former group are like I, I mean to say the uh, sulfides of uh, group 2 are sparingly soluble as while the uh, sulfides of group 4 are fairly soluble so in this way the that is why the sulfide of group 2 are precipitated by passing H2 as gas in acidic medium and the those of group 4 to remain in solution are not precipitated along with the sulfides of second group next application is the use of NH4Cl in group 3 of salt analysis so if we if we know that NH4Cl when it is added to the solution of salt to be analyzed after the second group uh, but we know that NH4OH along with NH4Cl is used as a reagent for the precipitation of radicals of group 3. Third group radicals. Now we know that NH4OH is a weak base when it ionized it uh, result into the so it will ionize to a small extent uh, NH4OH will be ionized as NH4 positive plus OH negative. So in the presence of uh, we already have highly ionized NH4Cl so there will be increase in the uh, number of NH4 positive ions in the solution because of the large number of NH4 positive ions the ionization of NH4OH will further suppressed and because they have common ion and NH4 positive so it will cause the cons concentration of OH negative to very low so under these conditions the solubility product of hydroxides of third group uh, it will be only it will only is reached and uh, the sulfides or hydroxides of third group will be precipitated out while the hydroxide of uh, group 4 5 and 6 because they have relatively high value of solubility product they will not be precipitated from their salt and they will remain in solution as ions so in this way we get we can analyze group 3 of salt analysis with the help of NH4Cl in the next application we can use NH4Cl in group 4 of salt analysis uh, in which way uh, we know that in the presence of H2S uh, the NH4Cl and first what is the other the reagent of this group so this group reagent is H2S in the presence of NH4Cl and NaOH so due to the presence of NH4Cl we will get high amount of NH4 positive ion or, uh, as well as uh, while the ionization of NH4OH is restricted by the desired extent in which H2S precipitated out radical so when NH4Cl as well as NH4OH gets dissociated we get NH4OH and uh, as a result we get a common ion so in this way the uh, ionization of NH4OH is restricted so we only left with H2S it will dissociate it we now that into H positive and S2 negative so the radicals of group 4 like zinc plus 2 nickel plus 2 manganese plus 2 and cobalt plus 2 will 
be precipitated out in the form of sulfides. The next application is uh, use of NH4Cl in group 5 of salt analysis. So in the group 5th NH4Cl is actually used with NH ammonium carbonate, carbonate NH42CO3 as a group reagent. So first if we uh, uh, lo lonely use NH42CO3 ammonium carbon carbonate so it will what will happen the mg2 plus will it will get precipitate as mgco3 so to avoid this we uh, along nh42 co3 we have to use ammonium chloride because why because nh4 positive is a common ion in both cases so the common ions form highly ionized nh4 cl it will suppress the ionization of nh4 to co3 to such extent that we are left here we we can watch so in both cases nh4 positive is a common ion so it will suppress the ionization of ammonium carbonate and uh, to such extent because the we have we are left with the low concentration of carbonate ions that is uh, only sufficient to increase the solubility uh, product of the carbonates of such as calcium strontium barium but it is un insufficient to ex exceed the solubility product of mgco3 so hence it is thus not precipitated mgco3 is not uh, precipitated and the last example last application is the use of nh4oh in group 4 of salt analysis so the filtrate of third group we know that it contain an oh negative ion and it is basic so the function of nh4oh what is its function its function is to provide oh negative ion uh, which remove H positive ion and it enhance the ionization of H2S. So more so more H positive uh, H2S ionize the greater will be the concentration of S2 negative ions and there will be the more precipitation more is the precipitation of sulfides. So in this way we, we can analyze uh, the group 4 of salt analysis so this is the end of this video i hope you will like it if you have any confusion you can ask in the comment section and take care of yourself allah Hafiz.